Hey guys, welcome to the USQ Phoenix Carnival. We've got a lot of fun and exciting stuff on today. I'm here at Springfield campus. It's a little bit rainy, but it's still going to be an exciting day. So we've got a lot of um, student-run activities. We've got local community from the Rebel Markets. And um, I guess I'll show you guys a bit of what's around. There's a lot of different events and activities on at Phoenix Carnival. So what do we have here? So firstly, we've got the Springfield Markets on, outdoor. We've also got free rides and activities outside. We've also got campus tours going on, so definitely worth getting on one of those. Free storytelling over at the library, free arts and crafts, as well as free screening of USP student films. And last but not least, a sausage sizzle. Everyone loves free food. First stop on Phoenix Carnival, today I'm talking to Heidi Saunders from USQ Give. Heidi, so tell us a bit about what USQ Give is all about. So USQ Give is um, students volunteering for charity events and fundraising for organisations um, in the community. Oh, very nice. So I see at the moment you're fundraising for a particular event here. Yeah, we So are. tell us all about this. It looks like Doug Shaves Daryl. Yeah, so um, our first event for this year is the World's Greatest Shave and it's going to be on the 14th of March um, at our campus. So Doug Fraser, um, our campus director, will be um, shaving one of our um, lecturers. Um, yes, so Daryl Sparks. Um, yeah, Daryl was kind, kind enough to donate himself to the cause. Um, so we're fundraising for him today at the Phoenix Carnival and ongoing next to the, over the next month. That he, he, has a, he, he has a very nice head of hair, doesn't he, yeah, uh, Daryl? Yeah, he does. So Look at that. He's very kind to donate his hair. Very, very kind indeed that I'm actually going to donate myself. Donate a bit of my myself for this. Hey, take a muffin. I'll uh, take a muffin as well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So stop two at Phoenix Carnival. I'm here with Alice Brown. So Alice, what do you do here at USQ? Hi guys, it's all happening here on a Saturday morning in amongst the slosh and the uh, rain and we've got some sun happening. We're very optimistic for the day. Definitely. And uh, we're here today. We've, we're representing the Faculty of Education. I've got some amazing uh, student volunteers in the pre-service education program and we're doing two different sorts of experiences today we've got an art nook here zoom yeah there we've got it is it all happening we've got lots of contenders we've got some uh, chalk drawing happening there you can scan as them uh, yeah we've got some chalk drawing happening C-H-A-L-K is in shock. <laughs> yeah. uh, Canadian accent there. Um, and I'm the early childhood specialist here on campus. Um, so what we're trying to do today is to bring art to the public and to, this is a lived curriculum we call it, so we're trying to um, educate parents and encourage them to be engaged with their children, with their family and enjoy playing together. Fantastic. So um, so we've got some chalk drawing and we have lots of painting happening and we're trying to get the parents to be involved with their children as an opportunity to play and learn together. So um, I hope we get lots of candidates today who are keen and raring to go and come and join us. So I'm just in the auditorium now for the Akijutsu demonstration. Hey guys, so I'm here with two staff members from the alumni office. So, what kinds of things do you have on store at Phoenix Carnival today? Well, we've got some uh, an awesome puzzle that we've put together and basically uh, people come up and put together um, some very successful graduates from the University of Southern Queensland. We've got representatives from the Alumnus of the Year Awards, also some members from different chapters that are um, that, uh, that are sort of running chapters throughout the world. And our lovely uh, third year business student currently just completed the puzzle yeah. and now he gets a chocolate. So I'm sure he's very, very excited about that. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so now he gets it. Yeah. So oh, um, you. as you can see, there's, there's people from all walks of life, all different sorts of ages that are here. Um, yeah. Gee, a lot of good success stories coming out of USQ. So, I think you were saying about Mark Willisey before, who was yes. our 2012 graduate, oh, alum, alumnus of the year, sorry? Indeed, he was. It, do you know of Mark Willisey? I now know ABC, that. ABC. ABC. He has come quite a, a long way, and he's such a genuine bloke. It was really awesome uh, interviewing him, and he came up last year. 
because he's originally from Tonga, I think, and from there he's sort of gone on to overseas and now he's reporting in all sorts of war zones. Wow. And, you know, every day is, you know, he's risking his life for the greater good to tell us what's going on in the world, so that's really awesome. Definitely. Well, yeah. Fantastic to hear all these graduate stories and um, thank you again for letting me interview you today for Phoenix Carnival. It's a pleasure. <laughs> the great part about being here at Phoenix Carnival is it's a great way to mix with the local community and the local markets. So here today it looks like we have some beeswax candles. Yeah. So these, are they all scented? No. Well, it smells that one, that's natural beeswax. Oh, it smells good. We don't need to be scented. No, the orange <laughs> ones, um, if you smell that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. It's it's awesome. Awesome. And those are <laughs> oh, scented. So nice. They look so beautiful. Yeah. It's also it's like a big bowl of chocolate. I know, I can see <laughs> that one. Well, be nice and calming same. after a long day of study. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And as I say, nobody else makes them, so you won't get them anywhere else. Wow. Well. I'm here later, she'd love one, I think. Yeah. So plenty of one-of-a-kind items here at Phoenix Carnival this morning. There's even people wanting to buy thongs and stuff. This is Alan. Alan loves thongs. <laughs> Alan loves sandals. Oh, I love sandals. He loves sandals. Especially lady sandals. They look good on me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Buy my soccer dress as well. I'm here at Phoenix Carnival today with potentially the happiest guy here. The happiest guy here? That, we have the popcorn man. Popcorn man. There you go. Look, the popcorn man. Fresh. Kettle corn, sweet and salty. Brilliant. Come down and try it, guys. So, so, so you, you said it, it, it's it's kettle corn, is it? Kettle corn. Kettle corn. It's American kettle corn. So it's cooked in rice bran oil. It's cooked in rice bran oil with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt. Fantastic. So it, it tastes actually, it actually really does taste a bit healthier than um your I guess run of the mill popcorn. <laughs> it is. It's gluten free. It's dairy free. It's vegan. Gee, so it's everyone can eat it. Free. That's exactly yeah. right. Wow. And only cheap to today as well, so that's fantastic. Too large for 16, that's so good! <laughs> and that was coming to you live from the Popcorn Man. Thank you so much. That's no lie. I never fail. It's a satisfy. It's a satisfy. So there's so many mar uh, markets and little community stalls out on today. It goes all the way out here. So we got oh wood fire pizza. Wood fire pizza. This is where I'm coming lunch. for lunch. Oh, fantastic. Mm. We've got the Central Tavern just next door. It's our little cafe on campus. And this looks like the food area, so we've got a lot of good food, food stalls on today. So there's heaps of fun free activities on today. So we've got bouncy castles up the back, we've got the Velcro wall, which is really good. We call this place Funland. So plenty of free rides at USQ Springfield campus. So we've got the Velcro wall, we've got the jumping castle. A lot of good fun on today. And then up over the way over there, you can't see it here, but there's actually a rock climbing wall. So I'm here with the campus executive manager on Springfield campus, Doug Fraser. So Doug, you having a nice Phoenix Carnival? I have a lovely Phoenix Carnival. Now that the, uh, the rain stopped, um, <laughs> it's uh, looking very promising. Very nice. So Doug, what do you think um, USQ has brought to the Springfield community? Oh, it's, it's brought a hell of a lot. We were here, we were the very first institution here within the education city, in fact, really within the CBD, so uh, a lot of this has grown up around us, so essentially we, we were a bit of the glue, but more importantly what we brought is the ability for people's aspirations to be realised. Definitely. Yeah, and I guess that's kind of the whole essence of Phoenix Carnival, and it's great to celebrate this with the Springfield community. Yep, and look, it really is, and uh, the fact that we've been able to incorporate both the normal market stalls, integrate them with the campus, has been fantastic. And there's a lot of things which are happening inside the building as well, and it's great seeing you know, uh, people having fun, doing all sorts of things, but uh, almost seamlessly, seamlessly sort of transitioning between the markets to the university. Yeah. So, Doug, tell me honestly, are you going to have a go at the rock climbing a bit later? Ah, uh, look, yeah. Um, in this gear, look, I know, I know I'm pretty good, but uh, <laughs> uh, I, I might give that one a break, but I might get, I might be doing the bungee run instead. The bungee run just over here? Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Thank you again, Doug, for your time. And this is what today is all about, the USQ Pride. Hashtag! So this is our resident student, Tony Dobbin, doing hopscotch. <laughs> 